it went viral. Over mm. 10 million people had seen it. Wow. I personally took it on as sort of my web page, and I answered every single person <coughs> loved and liked and talked back to a few naysayers. Um, but that's kind of um, how we started the foundation, which is what he was trying to say, the foundation for autism acceptance worldwide. And he said that so nicely. Um, <laughs> And um, he's a wish wizard, and what he does, one of our programs, is um, granting wishes for people with special needs. And so he's able to give back in a way that they, he was given to them that night. Um, similar to Liam's story, um, it got, we, we were covered by uh, Hardy Kidoga. He came out, he interviewed Jagger, it went on the AP, it ended up going international. So the Daily Mail, I had people um, from Japan calling me, we needed translators. Um, ABC huh. News, um, he was in Pop Sugar and People Magazine, <coughs> a whole big to do. Um, but it was just amazing what the people said, because so many people, I'd say 98%, were so positive and cared so much about it. And it was just such a touching moment. And I'm um, just so grateful to be able to turn that around from something that could have gone really off the rails to an amazing story and um, being able to give back to others, which is really all we want to do. Thanks. So, um, as you already heard, Jagger is a singer, um, and we have some other panelists that are also um, into the arts. The art that you're seeing up here um, to the left is Jordan's painting that she did as part of a workshop that she and Tucker went to um, called United Dance, where they spent a half a day dancing and a half a day in an art studio. Um, the really cool thing about that painting is we, he, she was in a studio um, at SOA. I don't know if any of you have been to SOA in Boston. Uh, they're pretty high-end studios, and the artist um, looked at that painting, looked at Jordan, and said, this is one of those moments when I wish I had painted this myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a pretty cool moment. Um, Cheryl and I were both like, did you just say that? We were like, yes! Um, and then um, the painting then traveled to Dad's office, uh, where his company thought um, they should pay her for, the, for it being part of the art in their office, and they purchased a painting for him to have in his office. So it is currently on loan from GE. Um, wow. The picture you see on the left, I mean on the right here, my left, your right, um, or the other way around, because I don't know my left from my right, evidently, um, is actually one of Tucker's uh, photos. It may look to you like the sun. It is actually a um, pipe that is broken off and, and um, has rocks inside it. I have no idea where that was, although I was standing next to him when he took it. Um, we were on a trip. All of us were together, and we, we came home, looked at the camera, and we were like, where did that even come from? Um, what we found with Tucker is he typically sees things from a different perspective, and then brings that with us, and that's been uh, the push for his website has been about that. Um, Jordan, can you um, tell us about your theater experience? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was in theater the middle school when I went to high school I got to take acting and, and musical theater classes to my high school there was very big the Theater department, and it was also very big. They won lots of awards every year because of how good. They are. Because I was in school with everyone else. And it, 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 it was not it was not a big big deal when 
went to I I went to audition to they chill cheer they chill beautiful for me they helped me when I got their cuffs confused or needed some the other to help they were my friends and still are when I had surgery they cry away I got to talk to all my friends there from their apartment on the first time. When it was time to improve graduating, the head of the theater, the Eric, came in to my meeting to tell the all the other teachers that they should let me go to my college. They listened to her and I went to Bridge Bridger Hills Music Family until I turned twenty two. So what what Jordan was talking about about her theater department, so she went to Framingham High School. It's a huge theater department. They are well respected across the state. They've won a number of state competitions. She was in Sweeney Todd, Beauty and the Beast, Hairspray. Right? I'm forgetting one. I know I have this before. Pippin. Yeah. And Pippin. Um, and it, it, it's a competitive environment. And she was right in the thick of it, um, which was awesome. Um, she then did, went to Berkshire Music Academy, which is a, um, a school out in Western oh, yeah. Mass um, that is all music-based and amazing as well. So she's had some great experiences, all music-based. And now she's in an art program at Gateway Arts um, where she's selling paintings. Um, let's see. Uh, Tucker, while we're on the arts, you wanted to tell us about music and how has music impacted your journey? Music has helped So, Chuck, you're talking about the, your, your music. You make write your own songs, right? Sometimes to talk about things that are going on in your life. And then you also sometimes help Dad at the studio with his TV show that he has. He did a lot of it my mom did make it up of if Steve He's calling out my staff right now. Yeah. Oh, the audience, there they are. Steve, Patrick, Raven, Tamara, give them all a wave. Thanks, Tuck. And I had my butt.
He's going to work on his own film at the studio, he's letting you all know. So <laughs> casting might be coming up, so be ready. Another screening. Exactly, another screening. Um, right? <coughs> um, Cheryl, what, would you, what do you want to say to parents who are currently facing the challenge of school inclusion? So, um, I use a phrase a lot. Um, I'm an advocate and I have many clients in, in different towns. And one thing that I tell them as parents is you need to be the expert of your child. So, you're sending your child to school and, and you hope that they, the teacher has training in uh, math and history and English and any other field that they have to teach. So I tell them to be your child's expert because you can't advocate if you don't know what you have to advocate for. Great. So um, does anybody have any questions for the panel? So we, we, we heard the film, we saw those, those um, three examples. You've, heard from these amazing young people um, and what they're doing. I think you know, the important thing, one of the things that stands out for me with all of them is that they all give back. Um, and they're, they're doing different things. Uh, Jordan and Tucker have been to Capitol Hill and met with legislators federally um, to talk about their life and their dreams uh, so that legislators can help uh, <coughs> fulfill that. Um, they loved it. They were, uh, as you can, may guess, were the, uh, hit a Capitol Hill, um, got some, made some big friends. But um, they're, they're giving back, it's not just, it isn't just about their disability, right? They're, they're talking about um, things that they do for other people, and that's kind of unusual for people with disabilities because people are always like, oh, what can we do for them, or what can we give them? And these guys are like, okay, yeah, we got that, but we have, we have something to give too, and I think that's a really cool thing. You had a question, go ahead. I just wanted to say, you are so marvelous the way they presented themselves. It was very, very, very not only interesting, but they all know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what they're talking about. And they're all going to have a wonderful, good life. And a lot of people will support them in this world, believe me. I know they will. Yeah, I mean, 10 million views, that's a lot of support, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs>